Okay, hello guys. In this video, we are going to talk about how natrium chloride will dissolve in H2O. Hydrogen and oxygen in water is called polar compound. Hydrogen is partially positive while oxygen is partially negative. This is because oxygen at nucleus attract electron stronger than the single proton in the hydrogen nucleus. So it goes like this. The charge, I mean the movement of the electron throughout the compound is going to move like this. Which will make the net charge of the movement to be just like this. So when we talk about sodium chloride, sodium chloride is a compound consists of sodium and chloride. This is a normal basic compound usually found in salt. So when sodium chloride has been added into water, it will dissolve or dissociate, forming positive charge sodium and negative charge chloride. When sodium and chloride are dissociate in water, the structure will look like this. As you can see here, sodium attract oxygen. Firstly, attract oxygen because it is a positively charged and oxygen is partially negative. Sodium will be attracted to the oxygen because of the electronegativity of the oxygen. Chloride will mostly attract the hydrogen from the water and this will what make it look like the structure hydrogen attached to the chloride atom here. This is because chloride is negatively charged and hydrogen is partially positive. So how does this thing interact with each other? Well, in the first place, this hydrogen can have a hydrogen bond with the another molecule or the adjacent molecule of water next to it. This is called hydrogen bonding. Hence, this is how the polarity of the substance is being described. When you writing the equation sodium chloride in a solid form, so it's going to change into sodium chloride in aqueous form, mostly because of how it react with water. Shadow, shadow.